I'm always scared that when I film like hair tutorials on a camera, I'm, it's gonna be like that girl who burned her hair off. Goodness. Hey guys, it's Bethany, and if you've been watching my channel for a while, then you can tell that something is different. Um, I actually got my hair cut. It was a very scary thing for me. I don't know, me and hair are just, I don't, I don't like to risk regretting things, so I was scared. But in the end, I'm happy with the haircut, and so today I'm going to show you how I style this style, which is called the lob or long bob. Um, a lot of people are getting this haircut, and I feel like it's nice, easy, like good for summer haircut. So yeah, let's just, I'll show you how to style it. Um, so starting off, I'm going to be using some leave-in, a heat tamer leave-in spray. It's like a heat protectant spray um, because I don't want to damage my hair, so we're just gonna do that. Ooh, okay. So I like to put this in before I style my hair simply because I want to protect my hair. So I just do that, and if I look here a lot, it's because I have the like monitor, I guess, for my camera. So. I want to be able to see what I'm doing. Um, so I like to use heat protectant spray and it just protects my hair. For some reason it gives me a little bit of volume. I don't really know what it's supposed to, but it does. So you can actually curl this style many different ways. You can use a barrel curling iron. Um, I would suggest a larger size. You can also use a flat iron, but today I'm going to be using this curling wand here. Um, and so after you put in heat to protectant spray, you want to kind of tie up half of it. I usually don't do this in the morning. I just kind of curl through it, but for tutorial's sake, my hair doesn't even really make a bun. For tutorial's sake, let's tie up some of the hair and go from there. So I have the bottom hair. My hair is thin. I have a medium amount of it, but I don't have a lot of hair, but it's not really thick, so. And you're not holding very long. I hold the edges because I don't want the ends straight. And just let that there. And then you can give it a couple tugs to make sure that you're not getting that perfect curl, but you're gonna get something that's a little more loose. My hair doesn't hold curl that well, so it will fall out pretty quickly. So if your hair holds curl, you might not wanna hold it as long, but just do what you're used to when styling your hair. And um, keep in mind that everyone's hair type is different. Uh, you might have your curling iron set at a different heat than I do, all of that. So it's just relative to your hair. These are just suggestions and just showing you how I typically style this hairstyle. Alright, so I'm just going to give this a couple tugs, get that beachy style, and I'll show you how to fix a curl in a second. So like I said, this one is going forward and the one I just did is going backwards. So you really want to alternate that back and forth um, with your curls so that they don't look ringlety but they look more beachy. I've honestly been thinking about um, going in and getting my hair dyed um, at the ends like a balayage style. Um, let me know in the comments if you think I should do that because I kind of want to, but I've never dyed my hair before, so I'm a little bit like, like I said, I'm not really adventurous with my hair, so I'm a little nervous, but I feel like it might be cute, so let me know if you think I should. So for this front section here, I want to make sure that I am curling it away from my face going this way because it gives you that face framing look that... Um, goes with this hairstyle really nicely. So if one of your curls is looking too curly, so for example, this one is kind of like ringlety, what you want to do is you want to take a flat iron and just go down and tap on the curl, and that should straighten that out a little bit. Like this one, just tap. All the way down. You don't actually want to pull and straighten because that'll pull your curl out, but that pulling and tapping kind of straightens it out a little bit. And then sometimes if I feel like my ends got curled, I will just straighten those with a flat iron as well. 
because that's how a lot of the lobs are styled is straight ends curly middle I suppose <laughs> so as a final step you can go in and add whatever product you want to the roots I have been using this bedhead it's a little trial thing bedhead manipulator texturizer um, may or may not be for guys hair or people with really short hair but whatever so I just put some on my fingertips and I rub it together and then I'll go under and I'll work it up into the roots kind of like you're shampooing your head I guess so there you go that is how I style my new haircut if you guys liked this video please give it a thumbs up please leave a question or comment below if you have any and I'll be sure to get back to you and don't forget to subscribe see you guys next time bye